Jeez, I wish I had like 10 more days. Well, we actually have 10 more days. <laughs> no, um, everything's going well. Um, camp has gone well. The team is working together in a great collaboration. Uh, we know the task at hand. We know what we're working for. We know the job at hand. And, and uh, we're going to come up victorious uh, come 30th. It's going to be very exciting to be able to have so many hometown fans be able to come out and see you fight. What message would you like to send to them? What you think about them? You know, um, funny you ask that, but Ontario is literally close to where I grew up. And so uh, it's exciting for me. It's sort of a homecoming for me. And I'm excited for my fans, uh, my, my friends, and my friend, all my fans are my friends as well, but I'm talking about the people that I grew up with that are going to get to watch me in action for the first time. And that means a lot to me because, um, you know, it took me a while to get to a certain plateau, so to speak. And now that I'm here, I, I like to see, I like everyone come see me in my own element. I think it's gonna be good. I thought Canelo won easily. Not an easy fight. I don't, I don't want people to say, oh, what do you mean he won easily? Not an easy fight. I think clearly he won the fight. I think he made the adjustments and he got the victory. I think that HBO wants a third mega fight because for the network one. Two, I think um, it was a close fight. It was entertaining. I wouldn't mind seeing it again. It was an entertaining fight. But with that being said, I think the right guy won the fight. Leading up to the fight, Triple H said, yeah. Yeah. Uh, people were saying that he looked like Gage. What did you think? What did you say? I think that's all opinions. I think he looked. I think he should have started a little sooner than he did in the, in the fight. If he would have started a little earlier, I think it would have been a, a, a draw, maybe a, a victory for, for Triple G. But I think uh, Canelo showed that he can make adjustments, and he made a significant adjustment from the first fight to the second fight, and that's the name of the game. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it blew my mind because he literally went into the lion's den. Literally went into the, I mean, Triple G can crack, and he went right into the lion's den. Even got stunned once or twice, and was able to keep his composure and take care of the fight. <laughs> I think he made the adjustments. I think it was effective aggressiveness. Again, there's no uh, real, real rules in, in judging boxing. There's basically three criteria: ring generalship, effective aggressiveness, and points punches landed. So whatever you're high on, if you if you're a guy that likes a Mayweather very defensive style, very uh, you know athletic style, then you're gonna obviously judge on that. Obviously, some of the judges like the bringing the fight, going towards uh, effective aggressiveness, and I think, uh, I, I personally think uh, Canelo's punches had more of an effect, and if you look at both of their faces, uh, Triple G was more worse for wear. Would you say, with Canelo stepping out in this more aggressive style, that this was the best fight of his career, or the best performance of his career? I, I would say, I would say, I, I think he shows that he has a high boxing IQ. He's able to make adjustments, and that's tough to do, especially at this level with a guy like uh, Gennady Golovkin who can crack. I mean, you're literally going in the lion's den. And if it's up to you as a fan's perspective, or a fighter's perspective, do you want to see the trilogy, or do you want to see them close I think it was that good of a fight where we could see it again. I, I really do. I think it was that good of a fight where we could see it again. Um, they're both exceptional uh, champions, and I think Triple G deserves it. And, and I think it'll be a great fight, uh, a, a good third fight. And if it happens again, who is the third fight? I would say Canelo. Uh, that's nothing against Triple G. I just think he showed his boxing IQ that night and that he can make adjustments on the fly. And in high school, were you most likely to be doing <laughs> That's funny. I, I was wearing this shirt. My wife was like, you're not going to wear that shirt. I was like, yeah, I'm going to wear it. Um, I, I don't recall. If I, was, I know in like eighth grade I went like all around and friendly. So I guess I was a nice guy. I don't know. So, uh, thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, nah, you know what? In the ring, I got to come up with this fight with the most respect for Victor because he's still Victor. And like I always tell everybody, everyone has opinions about Victor, that he has shortcomings here or there. But all the opinions go out the window because come 30th, I got to fight the, that opinion. You know what I mean? I got to fight the man. Everyone else has an opinion from outside the ropes, not inside the ropes. So. John, last time I spoke to you, you were really almost on the edge about the fight, but now you seem like super relaxed. Is it preparation or I know I'm ready. Uh, the preparation that we did, we we did we did the work. Um, actually, this weekend is going to be 
not for the faint of heart. Literally, the work that I'm gonna do this weekend is gonna be the cap of, of, of training camp, and I'm not looking forward to it. And uh, I'm, I'm losing more sleep over that than anything else, to be honest with you. Are you fighting first time on Sunday, right? Yes. How does that feel? Well, if you count all the fights with my wife, it's not the first time, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm joking, you know, I've never fight actually. Um, no, it, whatever, we make adjustments, man. Uh, so it's one day extra, that's all. One, one, one day extra to the weigh-ins, you know what I mean? Not, not a big deal. I think a lot of fans are going to show up. I think it's a can't-miss fight. I think once the fight got announced, everyone knows it's going to be a great fight. And uh, everyone that's going to show up is going to be treated with a, a big treat that night.